Nowadays, we spend so much time online and buy so much of what we use every day online that it's crucial to think about how you're spending your money. Um, one of my favorite websites is Quidco, where you log in, it remembers all your details, and every time you're about to go shopping, you go via its portal. And instead of, if you Google something, Google or the search engine will take a cut of your earnings. This way, you actually get your money back. So say you're buying something from, there's thousands of shops, but Tesco or Asda or Sky, or some of the big ones are financial services. So say you're buying your car insurance, your home insurance. You log in, you click through the retailer or the insurance or whatever place you're buying from, and you get money back. Um, people often think the internet is a big rival of the high street in the real world, but actually it's a really useful way of saving money before you go out and spend money in bricks and mortar or, or other places. So a couple of weeks ago, a friend wanted to book a spa weekend. If you just phone up the spa that you want and book, uh, book directly, it can often be quite expensive. But there's website wahanda.com. Um, and if you book via the site, you get really big discount. And we found one in the end for £50, where I think and they now buy one, get one free as well. So if you go direct, I don't think you're going to get that kind of offer. Some of my other favourite online shopping sites include threadbanger.com, where you can find thousands of ideas for changing your clothes or making clothes and just basically not have to go shopping quite as much as you might otherwise need to. Um, for drivers, petrolprices.com is great. It tells you, you put in your postcode, it tells you the nearest petrol pumps to your house or to wherever you are travelling. And another one I love is fatfingers.co.uk and what it does is it tells you all of the, you type in what you want to buy on eBay and it tells you all of the titles that come that sound similar to that. So say someone has not written they're selling the dishwasher but they're selling a fish washer. Um, they're not going to get any bids and you can swoop in and get a bargain by using fatfingers.co.uk because it's going to direct you to what you want to buy but the people who've misspelt or miswritten their products. And there is a directory of all my favourite websites and the best ways to save money online at the back of my book, Austerity.